to be great, baby. It's going to be great. Mr. Celebrity himself. Uh, trying to be great. <laughs> What's good? What's up, baby? So. Trying to be great in the field. about to happen to him. Sure. It's not our fault. 
You either gonna make history or you're just gonna be another part of history. It's totally up to you. Let's go. I know, bro. It's been too long, huh? I know, y'all. Yeah, y'all gotta get high and see. Y'all gotta get them high and see.
right there, brother. Fuck.
the hips. Tanny Taylor, right there. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Smoke, you out.
me. Ring fucking me. Or ring me. And pay my niggas. And pay my niggas. Fuck me. Hey, 
Did you think about maybe kicking the field goal there instead? I know you just missed the extra point, so yeah. I mean, <laughs> we missed that extra point, man. But um, we was down there; it was it was no doubt. And you know, our mind as coaches and the players knew that you know we we're going to go for it, and our offense was our best option at that point. You know, um, if we'd have made that extra point, or I mean, it was that extra point was so far off, man, to where. <laughs> I didn't even want to the ball was on a three yard line in the middle. It was like, it was really next another extra point. But I didn't I, I didn't want a chance that I think my offense gave us a better shot at getting into the end zone. Coach you prospects for next year and doing well. Um I told the past couple of weeks, um, just looking at our team and I told my seniors, I said, the, the first always gets all the glory. So you guys need to be the first ones to win a state challenge. I said, because what you have coming behind you, there's no doubt we're going to win a state championship the next two years. So I told them, y'all better be the first, because what we have coming back, we're going to be pretty good again. I got a question for quarterback. Um, and everything, I know that, you know, it looks like a run game kept coming around, coming around, especially in the fourth quarter. It seemed like a lot more confidence came into you, especially your office line, running backs, and improving yourself. What would you say about, especially the fourth quarter where y'all ran the ball? Uh, like the coach said, uh, um, you know, like my head coach said, uh, you know, um, you know, coach thought that we had the better shot of uh, the better opportunity is why they supposed to put it in the offense in the hand, but you put it in my hands. Which means that I have to take care of the offense. Also means that I feel like even though coach called whatever coach called, we should have executed. Jerry, what do you like about the team going forward? I mean, what do you have that makes you feel so um, sure that the team will do well? I know, like I said, I know you're losing a lot of linemen, but you, yeah. you have a lot of linemen in, 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 waiting in the wings. So, what yeah. do you see? We have a couple guys coming back. Uh, three or four guys up here are coming back next year. Um, we we have a lot coming back on defense. Uh, we have a couple of offensive linemen. Um, a few holes we have to fill, but you know we'll figure that out. Uh, Coach Luke does a tremendous job of that. We'll figure that out, but. And we have our quarterback coming back. Uh, we have these two guys coming back, Frederick and Keon Stamps. Um, receivers coming back on defense. We have a lot of guys coming back, so we're going to be okay. And also, are you thinking of maybe adding a uh, kicking punch to I need to find a kick someone who could kick first, right? Not only someone who could kick, um, the problem is no one, want, no one wants to do it. There's, there's no flash in that position, there's no excitement in that position, and like really next to the quarterback in a center that's like one of the most important positions on the field, but nobody wants to do it. Like you don't get highlights or you don't get accolades for being a kicker. You know, the kicker, everybody makes fun of the kicker, so nobody wants to, and you try to force kids to do it and then nobody wants to do it. You know, so it's just, <laughs> It's hard as I mean, believe me, I, you know, I've been head coach six years, I've been here 11 years. I'm trying to find a kicker. I'm trying to get someone to kick. Um, it's just, it's not a glamorous position, man. Nobody wants to do it, and it's killing us. 
It's, it, it's killing you. It, it's caused the big, not having a kicker has caused Warren Easton four state championships. And what do you do? What do you do, man? Nobody wants to do it. You know, and, and you know, you think year after year, losing by one point, one point. You think something, nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to take it serious, man. I'm trying. Me and my coaches are trying. You know, you can't really force them to do it. Um, we try, but we just can't find a kid. You know, in this game here, I think three of the last four years, I mean, how tough, I mean, I don't know if somebody asked it already, yeah. but how tough is it just trying to kind of bounce back really for anybody? Um, man, you know, they're tough, man. You, this, is, this is what you work for. This is, this is these kids' goal to get to the state championship, win the state championship, man. Um, and this is everybody's goal. And it's just tough, just, you know, you know, we, we love being here, you know, but, it, you know, it's to the point now, like, we, you know, we did it three times, I've done it three times. You know, we have to get the gold trophy, man. Um, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, man, I'm just, you know, I guess y'all gonna start calling me more of you, man. I, I, eventually, eventually, I, I'm, I'm gonna get one. We're gonna, I'm, I'm sorry, we're gonna get us one eventually, but, you know, right now, I'm like, Leave it all out there. You know, I mean, it's, our defense has been playing well all year. 
Coach Ty Walker, the defense coordinator, him and the staff, those guys have been putting in work. You know, not guys just believe. And then you just saw seeing stop after stop after stop. I mean, you know, we never once said, okay, let those guys score. We said, guys, go up. You know, put some, hey, go, go play as hard as you can and give it everything you had. Then start seeing second down, then third down. And then we just knew we had, you know, we didn't know if they'll go for a field goal or not. Uh, we kind of knew they kind of shaky because they missed the extra point. So we just take the defense, go out there and play and just give it everything you had. And our guys did that and left it all out there. Question. Yeah, coach. Mike Bernardi, ESPN Lafayette. Um, last week you went into Berman and beat Carr, which almost never happens. This week you held a team, Warren Easton, that was averaging about 58, 59 points a game. Talk a little bit about your defense tonight. Just been doing what they've been doing all year. Uh, our defense plays hard, our defense plays strong, and they just they just hold up. You know, I mean, they could anybody could have just gave up right there and just say, okay, give them the touchdown, and then you know we just blame them and everything. And we threw the interception. We're like, okay, guys, go out there and go play. Nobody budge. Defense flew on the field. We didn't have a chance to even talk to them. They're like, okay, we gotta make the stop. And just let you know the testament of the type of guys that we have. Guys want to play. Guys want to play for each other. Nobody pointing fingers. Nobody blaming each other. No, nobody blaming each other. Guys want to damn play their hearts out. Question. Darrell Williams, Tyson McEwen. Where do you get to kickers and how do you develop them? Not at all. Faith, soccer. You know, we kind of go to soccer teams and hey, who, can, who know how to kick? And we just kind of like, who know how to kick the ball as hard as they can? You know, and that's kind of what it was. I mean, Dylan was a guy that sat behind a, 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 a real good kicker, kind of Scott, for the last two, three years, but always worked. Dylan went to kicking camps. Uh, Dylan kept working, and, they, and everybody just kept believing in him and, and told him Dylan, because he was kind of shake at the beginning of the year, we missed a lot of extra points. But he bought in, and guys started believing in That's what it's about, belief. Does Westgate have soccer? Yes, definitely. Question. Uh, VK Jones from Crescent City Sports, uh, Coach Antoine. I remember Westgate over the years. And all of a sudden, you break one barrier. You beat Carl first, first loss in 20 years in Berman in the playoffs. Now you take out Warren Easton. What you can say about yourselves being not the not the Cinderella team, but now the team being state champs. Uh, we told our, team, our kids all year. You know, we want to be a good team, we want to be a great team, then we want to be an elite team, then we want to be the best team. And our kids bought into that. I told them, I told them this morning, I was kind of just freestyling that, and that just kind of came to me. But we just kind of, you know, it just kind of ran with it. And our kids are now the best team. Uh, Coach Cook, Ron, the Daily Advertiser. Um, what was the first thought that came to your mind the moment you guys made that stop for fourth down? My mom. Uh, my mom, uh, had bleeding on her brain on Wednesday, got rushed to ICU, got flown to Baton Rouge. Uh, and she comes to every single one of my games, uh, with my brother and I. And, uh, you know, she's never missed a game in, in when I was in Pee Wee, when I was in high school, when I was in college, uh, and my dad as well. And for them not to be to this game tonight, you know, was really touching and really kind of, you know, kind of had me off kilter for a little while. But for I didn't make that stop, it let me know that's what it's all about. That was for her and those kids played for her. God is good. Uh, you know, my mom, you know, just always was always there. We got a uh, coach Pierre. He was in the hospital this morning, uh, office of line coach. Uh, was admitted in the hospital and, you know, he, he was able to get out like around 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon and make it to the game. Uh, and our kids played for him. I mean, he's dealing with a, a, a very uh, serious sickness right now. And for him to come there, his son plays center for a starter center, Edwin Pierre Jr. And he said, Coach, I would never miss my son's last game and I'm going to win the state championship. So all of those things were coming about, you know, and just letting us know, man, it was faith. Question. Madeline Adams from Caleb Fly and Lafayette. Uh, my question is for the playoffs. Uh, it's your first state title appearance, but you didn't play scared. You didn't play like the underdogs. Just kind of talk about that mentality, thriving as the underdog, and coming out in your first state title appearance with the state championship. Danny, you can start. Um, I think that we played very good and we just had faith in each other, so we think that we we know that we got an um, obstacle that we got to go against. Uh, when I first came to Westgate, I knew that we had a special program. We just had to put some pieces together. And this season, we've been talking about it around here, like those guys that we knew that was coming back that we were going to go state. And that was the mindset. So I feel like we just all bought in and we made it happen. Yeah, I feel like since my freshman year, we had talent, but it was going to take some time. So when the senior year came, I was like, we're going to state and we're going to win it. So. We've been through a lot during the season, and it's just, you know, people think that we're not good, but we just showed that we're the best team at 4A. Yeah, so 
Coach, I have one question for you, too. I saw you embracing several of your players, and it was just really emotional moments. Uh, when you're hugging your guys after winning the program's first state championship, what's going through your mind? I'm going to miss them. Uh, we've been through a lot with these kids, uh, you know, from them being suspended, you know, for whatever reasons, grades, you know, just guys just had going through a lot of emotional issues. I mean, our, our kids come from a tough area. You know, they don't have much. They don't have a park. You know, so they, the time that they spend with us is with us. You know, our kids are with us 24-7, and we just know, we, just try, we try to keep them around and just do so much. And just knowing that those kids will be going on, you know, but they'll be going on as champions now. So you got to put something in front of their name now. you got to put champion in front of them, and they deserve that. I heard a lot of the players chanting 337. So um, maybe I got all answer the question, but how does it feel to represent the 337 area code coming out here and actually playing for y'all? Oh, it's feel very good because we, we knew we had to um, take up for the 237 area code and just so that we, with all the money up, so we had to put on for everybody else since they lost or whatever. Uh, coming from the area that we come from, not a lot of people knew where Westgate was or where it was located at. Like, the, on the media, it was like, who is Westgate? Like, who, where are they from? So I feel like we had to put us on the map and show that, you know, we're somebody. I feel like 57 is, uh, uh, people think it's a bad place, but they really got a lot of talent, and we just showed that the 57 really run, run the state. Question. But you guys have sort of talked about this a little bit in the presser, but um, you guys have matured a lot throughout, throughout these last four years. Um, in what ways has that sort of manifested itself, that maturity? We just all praise with each other and just, we get around each other, we get around each other every day so we know how to come back to certain people will react to certain, certain, um, certain things that are going on. I feel like it's always been there, like we all grew up playing Pee Wee Ball together, it's just like we all been tight, we just have to find a way how to put everything together and just like do the job and we did that this year. We've been playing with each other, well most of us have been playing with each other since middle school and it's always been a bond. We knew we couldn't break it, and we knew we had something special, and we, tonight we just showed that we were a very special group to come to Westgate. Um, basically, piggyback on all those, all what the guys saying. Been watching these kids and grow up. Uh, we have a new Iberia program that plays at Westgate, a youth program, and so watching these kids grow up, you knew they had something a little different. But, you know, they're just, just buying into the culture, saying that we will give 100% effort in everything that we do. We will spread the ones that come before us. And we will always run, uh, run off the field, on and off the field of court and just respect our city, our school, and our team. And we'll always make it better than we found it. Coach, um, Jeremiah Ray with G Sports. When you watch them on film, uh, did you feel like you were going to have issues with the offensive line? I mean, the offensive line been kind of balling people all year um, with a lot of size advantage. And my second part question is they play a lot of man to man on the back end. Um, did you think that you were going to have an advantage with Danny and, and expecting him to exploit that matchup like that? Oh, uh, I mean, offense line big, but I mean, playing, you know, the team that we play in our district, playing the tough schedule that we played all year, uh, we've seen big guys, uh, you know, and our, our defensive line guys have been working their tails off and just doing what they needed to do to just get prepared. And after a while, it just comes down to a dog fight. You know, and our kids played hard for that. Uh, and definitely in the back end, you know, they have some, uh, you know, elite guys. Uh, but, you know, we feel like we got matchup problems. We know what would we do. Uh, we've done a great job of having multi-sports athletes, guys that play basketball, guys that go play baseball, and also guys that run track level. This, these guys are on the state track, uh, state championship track team. So we know we can run. We just want to put our guys in position to make plays. We call ourselves WAMP. Well, we all make plays. So when we have an opportunity to make it, we expect to make it. Moment, just leading this, leading this team to this moment do for you. And then, of course, as you head on to Cincinnati, just what does – this cherry on top for you in the season. It's a it's a big moment because I know I'm not gonna be able to play with these dudes again. So finishing our senior year and winning the state championship, it just means a lot. We've been through a lot with each other. Even though know, we get suspended from football and walking off and all types of stuff, but we came together and it just it's a great feeling to win my last one with these boys. Coach, I know you want to get back to your team, so we're going to have one more question right here. Oh, wait, wait, man, 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 man. I'm sorry. <coughs> um, winning the state championship and actually putting the tear on the top of my commitment because I feel like this is one of my goals to win a state championship, and after that, I wanted to play on the next level, so I feel like this is the best thing to leave. Like, 
as as a um, academia on myself or a full SD. Uh, Danny, it's uh, Josh Preston, Josh Preston video, but uh, you had the, on a third down on a goal line stop, I think you got through and, uh, you know, made a big play. How'd you get through on that play and uh, what's it mean to you, you know, winning a uh, most outstanding player too? Um, I actually got through, the, I think the dude was supposed to down block, but like, I, I really like jumping the snap, so he, he, he moved too slow, so. <laughs> <laughs> he moved too slow, so like, it was, I mean, I don't really brag too much at the line, it was just my time, so I felt like I, I, they just put the best player in the spot to make it tell. So I did what I had to do. We got two more questions, Coach. You're playing very, very well. You played great tonight. And the last name is so familiar to me. And all I know, I remember a player named Early Doucette that set the world on fire in Burma Stadium years ago against Old Perry Walker. I don't know if you're related to him, but it seems like. The way you play, it seems like it's in the blood more than anything else. What you think? Yeah, Early is my first cousin. I mean, I talk, I talked to him uh, during the postseason. He told me just keep the name, you know, on fire. Keep doing what I'm doing and never uh, let him. So I just listened to what he said and now look where we at. Right. My question for number three, number is Dedrick or Dedrick? Dedrick. Dedrick. Can you just talk to those through those two back-to-back -back catches you had? One on the sideline and then the touchdown. Just what happened on those two plays? Um, I believed in myself. Coach told me to, you know, always go out there and make plays. You know, we all make plays. And it was a one on one matchup and I had to win that. And I think I did that.